Hi, this is Blender 4.3 and as you can see the shadows here are pretty horrible and since we don't have the previous parameters in the previous Blender versions we now have to deal with this kind of um, artifacting, denting, saw cuts, shadow cuts, whatever. You need to do two things. One of those is come here into the render engine as you can see I'm using Eevee and if you uncheck shadows all the shadows from the scene will go away and this is something that you may probably want to consider especially if you already modeled your entire model with a specific uh, normal editing but if you don't and if you want to use the um, lights you need to come and modify the light itself in this case it's a sun so I'm going to come here into the properties of the sun and as you can see I also have the shadow parameter here so you can do this per light or the entire scene and what you want to do is to use the filter and bump it up that's it that's all you're going to get and this is how soft it's going to look and in the filter if you set it to 1 or 0 0.2 or 0 0.1 you're gonna get the sharpest sharpest shadow cut if we can call it that way um, yeah and that's how it's going to look so even with two rays, we we still experience that, that horrible thing. But this is because this is hard coded. Again, AV is kind of set on screen space coordinate, so this is what you're going to get. Uh, not much of a lock if you get close up. Uh, the only other thing I can suggest to you, because this is a real pain, my third tip would be to actually manipulate the position or the angle of your sunlight so if this is not working for you try a different angle in which you can kind of you know cope with this issue because it's it's really a problem you can also try the light linking I'm gonna do that right now I'm going to open this and I'm going to create a new collection for light linking that means I want to only exclude or add a certain element the face is the one that I'm, I'm um, interested in and I wish I wish that I could just you know add it uh, by dragging and dropping it in here but it, it, it doesn't work that way so plus plus oh yeah uh, I have to select the the actual mesh this is uh, this is another faulty thing if the face is selected I cannot add it that's uh, something awful anyways drag and drop your actual mesh from the collection in here and now I need to exclude it so I'll, I'll remove this thing so now my son will see everything in the scene except the face or at least that's what we're planning to do we are planning to just illuminate oh something happened uh, <laughs> it's not working this is um, blender 4.3.2 and again I'm tired of reporting bugs because um, they don't care it's a re the harsh reality so face drag and drop like linking alright now it's working so yeah face yeah here we go now it's working probably was compiling something uh, but now since the light of the sun it's only affecting the body and nothing is illuminating the face we're gonna use a, a different strategy here we're gonna activate this facial light and this is the one that it's going to have a new light linking and in this case I'm going to drag and drop the face over here and it should work so as you can see the face now becomes highlighted or illuminated by this light by this facial light nothing else so it's super convenient in that way and you have more controls over those pesky shadows over your face which is probably something that you don't want to do so yeah this has been a short tutorial just to deal with this kind of things in in your anime models you can do further adjustments by you know uh, adding or removing light and shadow elements from those lights from those specific lights you might probably find yourself in the situation where the sunlight is affecting your character and these shadows look really horrible so one of the first things that you may try to do right away is to select the main light which in this case is the sun and uncheck shadows 
but if that is not good enough for what you're trying to do just leave shadows alone and instead of having the filter set to 0 0.5 which I think it's the default or I think it's 5 I don't remember quite well but that kind of uh, helps in this situation what you want to do is to really lower that send it to 0 0.1 and the resolution limit generally is set to something like 0 0.01 as you can see it's uh, doing its best thing um, however if you go 0 0.1 you can get this uh, really hard shadow in this way that's the first thing to try and the second thing to try is to actually apply a subdivision modifier but in this case I'm going to use the subdivisions up to two at render time however in the levels viewport if you up this uh, number and you also uh, created normals uh, in your face edited normals uh, you can check this box and it will also help because otherwise you will get the, like the default you know um, subdivisions there but I want this model to use it my custom normal so that's uh, what I want to say and yeah that's something that you may want to also check to quickly try to fix this issue because it really is a, a problem uh, to work like that so the filter is 0 0.1 you can also go to 5 and you can see that most of the other shadows around the body also have shifted but yeah usually you want to get this as low as you can and the resolution limit just to you know something something big like one meter I even go to five but that's not really necessary just set it so big that the chunk itself will still be appliable and you can see it there however you will not see the vented side of the shadow so yeah you can try all of these combinations hopefully one of those will work for you but yeah at the moment that's the only way to deal with this kind of things hopefully the project of the integration for the NPR branch will appear on Blender 4.5 in the next month and then maybe then after probably October or November this year we can finally get rid of those um, pesky dented shadows thank you very much please don't forget to follow and subscribe because things are going to get just amazing from here on since we now have an awesome way of porting our models or anime models into Unreal Engine. My name is Pierre Schiller, I am a 3D animator and BFX compositor with over 20 years of experience. And let me ask you something, have you tried Blender today? Try Blender! Blender is powerful and beyond artistry compatible.